What's going on guys, Stefan here. I'm about to head off to the gym and today I'm gonna to take you through an injury prevention workout that I do. All of the exercises are gonna focus around what I believe are the three main pillars of injury prevention and that's strengthening, stabilization, and flexibility. So let's get into it. I always do some sort of cardio before I get started with my workout. Whether it's actually biking to the gym or spending 15 minutes on the bike or treadmill at the gym, it's always good just to get the legs going, get the blood flowing, and prepare yourself to work out. So after I finish on the bike, I do a little bit of a mobility and dynamic warm-up. And I'll just slip this in there before the actual workout gets started. Thank you guys for the support so far. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. If you are enjoying the videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and helps more people see the content that's being put out. And also, just in case you don't know, I do have an Instagram page, at Muller Performance, where I share more tips, advice, workouts, all that kind of stuff, so be sure to give that a follow. So I started here with the single leg squat. I did these on an 18 inch box and focused on keeping that one leg that's on top of the box stable. I don't want my knee moving side to side, I want to keep that knee stable and strengthen the supporting muscles around it. A common theme you're going to see with most of these exercises is they're done on one leg. Like I said earlier, one of the main pillars of injury prevention is balance and stabilization. During a game, you are constantly jumping and landing off of one leg. Particularly during these injury prevention sessions, most of my exercises are done single-legged. After I did 8 reps on each side, I did a single leg balance on the BOSU ball. The same idea applies here to the single leg balance on the BOSU ball. Keep the knee and the ankle strong, just focus on maintaining your balance. During this workout, I supersetted all of my exercises, so I always did one set right after another. The next exercise I did are Copenhagen's. On my team, we actually do this exercise at least once or twice a week prior to the session starting. The Copenhagen exercise is excellent for strengthening the adductors, which are kind of your inner thigh muscles to prevent groin injuries. All you need to do is get into a side plank position, put one foot on top of a box, and then with the opposite leg, slowly bring it up and control it back down. It should be at least two or three seconds up and two or three seconds down. You should feel the tension in your adductors in your inner thigh region, and I did eight reps on each side. And again, I supersetted this with another exercise, now focusing on my abductor. And same idea when working on the outside of my hips. Two or three seconds up, two or three seconds down. Moving on to yet another single leg balance and stabilization exercise. For this one, I'm using the BOSU ball to spring off of and land to the side. I'm looking to quickly jump off the BOSU ball and stick the landing on my opposite leg. With all of these single leg exercises, I'm aiming to keep my knees and my ankles stable. Focus on just sticking the landing. I did four jumps around the BOSU ball, and I did that two times on each side. And straight after finishing the BOSU ball jump, I went into Nordics. Awesome for strengthening the hamstrings and preventing hamstring injuries. With this exercise, you want to control yourself down to the ground as slow as you possibly can. As you control yourself down, you're going to feel all of that tension in your hamstrings. Once you get to the bottom, you're going to push yourself up only as much as needed and let your hamstrings pull yourself up the rest of the way. And then from there, I moved on to the final three exercises. With this exercise in particular, start small, don't start on a bench right away, start on a 6 or 12 inch box and then you can slowly work your way up. So standing on the bench, you're going to step off with one leg and stick the landing at the bottom. Again, with every exercise, focus on keeping the knee stable. I did 5 reps on each side. A big reason why ACL tears are so common is because players lack the strength and support around the knee. One of the most common ways people tear their ACLs is jumping up and then tweaking their knee on the landing. So this exercise mimics landing on one leg. And then I supersetted that with some core work. With the first core exercise I got into a plank position and alternated between sticking my opposite arm and opposite leg out. By only having that one arm and one leg as support. It forces you to keep your core tight to maintain your balance and control. I did 20 reps of this and then went straight into a side plank and did 30 seconds on each side. And then to finish off the session, I just focused on flexibility. Flexibility is incredibly important when it comes to injury prevention because let's say you have tight hips and tight hamstrings and a ball is played a couple yards to your side that you need to reach out for. If you don't have the flexibility in your muscles to get to that ball, you're at risk for tearing a hamstring when you reach for that ball. 
So I always take time after every session just to stretch and maintain my flexibility. I just finished up in the gym. I typically do a workout like you just saw one day a week, but hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Be sure to leave this video a like if you did, comment down below and subscribe for more videos in the future. Peace.